Hello Ringlets and welcome back to This Week in Gaming. Pwig. First of all I just want to say I am very sorry for depriving you of your Sundays This Week in Gaming. I've had quite a lot on and as I say I apologise for that. I'm going to make up for it for making a brilliant show for you today. So the question you're all asking me is what's in the headlines? What's going on with gaming? I want to know what's the news Rich? Well I'm going to tell you. This top news today, as always, my source is from computerandvideogames.com. And the top headline today, guys, FIFA 14 revealed first screenshots and details for you. Uh, the Xbox Entertainment Awards, all the winners, so I'm going to go through them with you. And Killer is Dead, an interesting game that's coming out. Screenshots show a gigolo mission? Okay, so that first story for you guys today. It's the news you've all been waiting for. FIFA 14 revealed. And I'm going to go through that story for you now. So, EA Sports has officially announced FIFA 14 for Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. An EA spokesperson told ONN that additional formats will be revealed in the months ahead. So, Wii U, handheld and next-gen version may well be on the cards too. FIFA 14 executive producer David Rutter said FIFA 14 will play the way great matches are contested with build-up through the midfield, tension throughout the match as chances are created, and incredible finishing. Opportunities in FIFA 14 will be rewarding and great goals will look stunning. All the first details straight from the publisher's mouth follow the debut screenshots. I'm going to go through a couple of the new features for you now. So, pure shot. Shooting has been transformed. Players have the intelligence to adjust their stride and approach angle uh, to find the best position for hitting the back of the net. Well hit balls feel satisfying and goals are rewarding too. As well as quality strikes, players can now shoot while off balanced or rushed. Real ball physics. Strike the ball with more force and finesse. Realistic ball physics and now determine the trajectories of balls in the game, enabling players to strike the ball with force from distance, drill low-rising shots with accuracy, and blast dipping or swerving shots just like real footballers. Protect the ball, dominate midfield, and dictate the tempo of a match. Bend off and block defenders from the ball while dribbling at any speed. Protect the ball from opponents to control play through midfield and dictate the pace of the match. Plus, outmuscle opponents for position before receiving the ball. Then turn the defenders to carve out opportunities. Teammate intelligence. Better decision making. Hallelujah. Delivers tighter, smarter marking and improved run tracking. Defenders recognize opportunities to provide support and win back possession. Attacking players have new ways to outsmart their opponents and break down tighter, more intelligent defensive by creating space for themselves, running along the back line and checking their pace. Sprint dribble turns. Utilize quick, explosive cuts and turns to beat defenders one-on-one -on -one while sprinting with the ball. Players can move in any direction, preserving their natural momentum and maintaining possession of the ball. Variable dribble touches. The first touch control of dribbling varies a player's touch when dribbling with pace. Skilled players have the touch control to stand out, while less skilled players will experience fewer perfect touches and more uncertainty dribbling, creating opportunities for defenders to win back possession, and placing emphasis on building play through midfield. Second chance tackles. The tackling zone has been extended to enable defenders to combine different types of tackles, recover from missed tackles quickly, and have a second chance to compete for the ball in any tackling situation. Curling lofted through balls. Players have the ability to curl the ball around opponents to deliver precision passes to teammates or send the ball into space. Skill games, a competitive practice mode that enables players to learn or master the fundamentals skills necessary to compete at FIFA 14. Become a better player, faster, no matter what your skill level. Competing against yourself or friends in all new mini games. Career mode. Search for talent year round with the new global scouting network that brings the world of professional scouting to life. Develop and refine your own scouting network. Evaluate footballers to uncover the attributes of players who could bolster your squad. 
during the transfer windows or a new hub that delivers easy navigation, fewer interruptions and live scouting reports and complete authenticity. All the authenticity EA Sports is known for with officially licensed clubs, leagues and more than 15,000 players. So ringlets, how do we feel? The new FIFA has been revealed and of course, you know, they always promise in some new things and tweaks, but you know, I was impressed with the last game. I didn't really play the campaign as much, but um, I play online a lot and I really like it. It's a very fluid, well-run game. Do we think this game will be any different? Will it be a next-gen game as well? Is it going to be cross-gen? Is it, you know, it could be one of those games that doesn't quite uh, revolutionise football, but more kind of take it forward a bit more. So, who knows? Write in the comments below how you feel about FIFA 14 being revealed. On to the next Peter news. The Xbox Entertainment Awards. Yes, there have been some winners and I'm going to go through them now. So just very quickly guys, Microsoft has revealed the winners of the Xbox Entertainment Awards. Launched last month, the Xbox Entertainment Awards ask fans to vote for their favourite products across a range of categories, including games, movies, TV and music. The initial phase of online voting was suspended following a security breach, which resulted in the personal information of a number of users being made available online. The second phase of voting took place on the Xbox Live dashboard, with participants placed into a sweepstake to win prizes, including a VIP experience at Gamescom 2013. So I'm just going to very quickly read the winners for you now. I will go from the bottom to the top because I think it's more important the top part. So, best music video, Psy, Gangnam Style, <laughs> best single, Swedish House Mafia, Don't You Worry Child, that is my favourite song of the last year. Best album, Lana Del Rey, Born to Die, best artist, Eminem, best comedy, Ted. Great film. Best superhero movie? Well, there is only one choice. The Avengers Assemble. Best TV show? Couldn't agree more. The Walking Dead. Best movie? Ted. Well, I'm not too sure, but there we go. Best add-on? <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Season Pass. Say no more. Best Xbox Live Arcade game? Oh, you guessed it. It is Minecraft. Best Family Game, Connect Sports Ultimate, and you guessed it, Best Game, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, the awards were kind of what we're expecting, I guess. Did any of you participate in the voting of the awards, or do we think that it's just another award show that's just going to, you know, um, talk about all the franchises rather than some of the ones that kind of get left by the wayside? What do you think about some of the, the winners there? Uh, worthy winners, or... Do we think, again, it's just popularity contest? Write in the comments below. And the next piece of news, it's just a bit of a randomer. Um, I'll have to read it because I keep forgetting this one. Killer is dead. There's some screenshots that show combat and also gigolo missions. What's this all about? Check it out. So, Grasshopper manufacturer boss Goichi Suda is serving as a executive director on the PS3 and Xbox 360 game Killer is Dead, which promises to, deli to deliver a story of love and execution set in a not-so-distant future. Players step into the shoes of Mondo Zappa, whose ultimate goal is to execute various heinous criminals scattered around the world. According to Silicon Era, Mondo uses a sword called Geku, translated as Moonlight, that has the power to absorb the blood of his enemies, which allows him to unleash more damage and chain attacks in two combos. The game also features gigolo missions in which Mondo has to seduce women. The title was recently snapped up by European and US publishers who confirmed a plan planned summer 2013 release date window. What do you think of some of these random games? Like, I just thought this sounded like an interesting story, so... Yeah, uh, sounds kind of sexy. Maybe not a game for some of you kids out there, but some of you grown-ups. Maybe you should have more adult games, more adult themes in games, do you think? Not just the shooting and the violence, but kind of the more sexual themes? Or, you know, what do we think? If we're old enough, write about it. If we're not old enough, ignore the story right now. 
All I'm saying is, babies were delivered by storks. Go ask your parents about all that stuff. I ain't gonna tell you. Okay, it's the part you've all been waiting for, guys. It's the charts. These are the charts from the 13th of April. They're not very up-to-date, these charts, but they're different from the last video that I did. So, here we go. Number five. In the USA, Gears of War Judgment. And in the UK, been hearing a lot about this game. Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Number four. In the USA, Call of Duty, Black Ops 2. Snuck back in the charts. And in the UK, FIFA 13. Number three in the good old United States, Defiance. And in the UK, you can't keep a good lady down, Tomb Raider. Number two in the USA is Bioshock Infinite. And in the UK, it is Defiance. Number one in the USA, your number one is Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. And number one in the UK is Bioshock Infinite. So, some very interesting uh, chart um, details there, guys. Kind of expecting it, but this whole Luigi's Mansion thing, that's kind of crept up on me. Next up, guys, I'm a little bit late with this video, so it's kind of unfortunate that I have to release this information a day late. But, here's your releases. We have no less than four releases on the same day. However, they were yesterday. So yesterday was the 23rd of April, and four games were released. I'll read them out for you now. Dead Island Riptide. I'm talking about worldwide releases here, by the way. Dead Island Riptide. That's one. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. Star Trek. And Black Rock Shooter. Loads of games out, guys, uh, for this week. Take your pick out of the four. It sounds like there's some good games in there. Um, Dead Island might be worth checking out. I've heard good things about Star Trek. Anyway, guys, that about wraps it up for this week's video. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it. And I'm sorry it was late this week. I won't do it next week. I'll bring it on time. Make sure to comment on this video. Make sure to drop a like. And if you can, hit that subscribe button underneath the video. Tell your friends about this week in gaming. Tell your friends about me. Tell your friends about... Green Wing Gaming. Let them know. Spread the word. Sh yeah, share some love. This Week in Gaming is getting so much better. If you type in on uh, YouTube, This Week in Gaming, my show comes up first. There's no other show that's about This Week in Gaming. I'm the only th Week in Gaming show on YouTube. can almost guarantee it, unless there's some others out there, but I can almost guarantee that I'm only only weekly news show on YouTube about gaming. So, give some respect to This Week in Gaming, to Twig, tell your friends, and as I said, please subscribe and help the channel grow. And I'll be back with another video very, very shortly. Thank you very much for watching this video.